Captain Fathom. The loss of the Argonaut. I've lost all contact. The cable snapped. All ships, mayday, mayday. We need help. Cable broke and we lost our rescue thing. Captain Fathom gave the Argonaut his full air before we lost him. It's coming up somewhere on buoyancy. All standby vessels, this is Admiral Gonigal. Pilot's engine. All ships activate deep water sonar. Report first contact. Out. I've got something. Porpoises. Stand by. Red. Sweep has a contact. Repeating and closing fast. Bearing 289 at 47,000. Range one mile. All ships, McGonagall. Firm contact at bearing 289. Range one mile at 47,000. All ships full speed ahead with separation. <laughs> Satisfactory condition? Oh, boy, I'll die of starvation before they let me out of here. How are the boys from the Argonaut? Fine. They send their best. And so does Scotty. And what are you going to do about all those lush offers you've gotten, Hero? I don't know, Maggie. Some folks want me to be president, but that's so temporary. The Navy wants you back, you know. Rank of Admiral. And a good price for the Argonaut. Good price for... What are you talking about? What do you mean, what am I talking about? You salvaged the little beastie. She's yours. Why, Jiminy, that's right. I can start my own nuclear navy. I'm sorry I said anything. But if that's the way you want it, they will give you a quick claim on the sub plus a sum. Yes, yes, go on. And a government court order demanding return of the armament system. You'll have to build your own ordinance. You can top the Navy's offer, Maxie. What have you got? Don't you find these heroes a bit too much, Admiral? Terribly. What I've got for you is a challenge, hero. There's a lot of land under the seas. It's going to be farmed and mined and charted and fought over. It's a new world, a frontier of the sea. It needs a peacemaker, a Western Marshal, a man with a fast sub. Your greatest pay would be service to mankind. You play pretty dirty, Max. What in the name of all that's holy? Scotty. Welcome aboard, Captain. I wonder if you crew, you'll have me. Sir, the Navy has agreed to transfer me to your Navy if, if you'll... Oh boy, do you play dirty. But you've got a deal, Max. named Max said it better than I could. It's a wild and untamed new world, a frontier of the sea. It needs a peacemaker, a western marshal, a man with a fast sub. It's my world. We're getting some response. Point zero eight on the low end of the scale. Certainly not worth developing. Miss Battle. Do you mind? That noise is driving me to distraction. Hey, is that far from here? Maybe there's some action there. Captain Fathom. Let's can the music box, Sammy. Oh. Captain Fathom, you're a drag. 
And Miss Perkins, you're a drag and a bore. This whole pizzazz is one boring drag. Argonaut Petroleum Central. Argonaut, over. Stand by for Mr. Basalt, please. I'm probably missing the season's biggest social bash. Madam, here's Sam. Like my best friend's funeral or something. <laughs> What's so funny? <laughs> Your daughter's a million laughs, Sam. Sammy Jr., what do you think of her? She's rotten to the quick. I hire you to probe for oil, not insult my family. Let me talk to her. Dad, what did I do to deserve this wing-ding cruise on a slow pig boat to the old folks' home? Hey, you wanted something different, Sammy. Oh, it's different, you bet. But I'll get you for this, Pop. I've got enough on you to send you up the river for life. And when I get through, they'll boil you in your own oil. And there goes your allowance. Now, what are you just relaxing? Oh! Sammy? Sammy! She used up her dime, Sam. Like I said, a million laughs. She's rotten to the quick. How you doing out there? Nothing. There isn't enough oil out here to take the squeak out of your... Captain! Hang on. We're leveling. <laughs> Damage control. What have you got? We're still green bar, Captain. Freddy's out cold. What? Stand by. What happened? That was a shock wave. There's more coming. You got your wits, Ronnie? I'm okay, sir. All ahead, V-10. Get us to the bottom of that trench. Come in, Argonaut. Beverly, what's going on here? I don't know, Mr. Basalt. We lost contact. Well, get me the radio shack. Radio? No, sir, we lost contact. Uh, you may have gone into deep water. We're monitoring all standby frequencies. If he's sending... Hold it. Just a minute, sir. We're getting something on Telstar S. He's bouncing voice signal off Telstar. Greenwich Marine Watch, this is Argonaut SSI 730. Acknowledge. Over. Argonaut 730, we receive you at Greenwich. Over. Greenwich, please copy. Report severe underseas tembler. Registering 16.5 on Richter scale. Epicenter estimated latitude 13 degrees. We are two five miles southeast of diving. Over. Roger, three zero. We copy. I say, old fellow, are you certain of your figures? Over. Greenwich, that is affirmative. Argonaut out. Here it is. Let's hop to it. To all stations, this is Greenwich Marine Watch. We are declaring international emergency. I say again, international emergency. Mass of Mid-Atlantic Templar registered in latitude 13 degrees, longitude 36 degrees. This event will likely develop tidal waves of massive destructive force. Special warning to the following states. To all ships at sea, to the Cape Verde Islands and vicinity, to the western coast of North Africa, to the northeast coast of South America and the Caribbean, to the eastern coast of the United States. Special warning. International emergency. Warning. Warning. Station secure. Oh, my aching head. Control secure. Okay, let her ride. Argonaut 730, this is Greenwich Marine Watch. Do you receive me? Over. Greenwich, this is Argonaut. Go ahead. I'm pleased to raise you, Argonaut. How have you fed? Over. Okay, we rode off the tsunami in a trench and just surface on calm seas. How bad was it? Frighteningly destructive, old boy. Loss of life in the thousands. Your early warning doubtlessly saved many more. 
We have a request to forward from the International Geophysical People. Now, go ahead. Could you possibly reconnoiter the area of the Templar's epicenter? Within safe limits, of course. You see, it appears the characteristics of the Templar are highly suspect. Also, your position report places the epicenter in the vicinity of the Bellefontaine Seamount. What do you say, what do you say? Yeah, what's it mean? Not sure. Do you copy, Argonaut? Over. Roger, Greenwich. Wilco and out. Are they suggesting this wasn't an Earth Templar? Maybe the Bellefontaine popped its cork, huh? Underseas volcano? Aye. We'll never know if we don't check it out. Man your sea stations. Diverting to the area of the quake, Sam. The geophysical people want to know what really happened. Not at my expense, you're not. Let them... I'll put it another way. Until I know what happened, it isn't safe to probe for oil in this sector. Over. Sam? Take it easy, but keep the cause down. Talk to you later. Captain, off the starboard bow. Oh, my gosh. What is it? Something on fire? Volcanic smoke, isn't it, Scotty? Aye. But no cooker would puff like that from 30 fathoms down, Captain. She must be close to surface. I don't want to be caught on top if she decides to blow again. All back, V2. Take her down, Ronnie. Stop engines. Let's have a look. What is that? Remote Omni video. That's the Bellefontaine Seamount, Captain. Seamount? But that's an island. I can't believe it. Must be three miles long. Easy. Wow. Good heck. Jumping. Ever hear of the sea coughing up a full-blown island overnight? No, sir. Not me. Well, I want a closer look at that baby in the sea dart. Four, five, four, three, two, one. How do you read? Very well, Captain. I have presentation of all. Roger. Let's go, Pete. Stand by, Captain. Leveling off at 1,500. There's no volcano cone. Looks like there must be a deep fissure running along the hogback. That's where the smoke's coming from. I'm cutting through the smoke. Get a sensitometer reading on this stuff. Could be so far. Captain, what's that? Sir, get out of there, Captain. What is it? What's wrong? That smoke he's in is radioactive. He's contaminated. trying to get out of that smoke. I picked up a 9-3 radiation count in there. It's still reading 7-6. Sir, that's too high. You have practically no shielding in that craft. There's always something. OK, how much time have I got before I have to ditch my plane? You should evacuate now, sir. Oh, negative. I've got some time. How much? None, sir. Captain, if you take two minutes, you're borrowing it from your maker. If that island's radioactive, it isn't. OK, I'm taking five minutes for a couple of low-level suites. Low and slow enough for you to get sensitometer reading. All systems on flight record? Yes, sir. Okay, here we go. What's he trying to do? He wants to find out what the island's made of. The sea dart has a sensing device that transmits the atomic count of elements he passes over. Then a computer tells us what these elements are. Why is that so beep beep important? I mean, if he's so contaminated... I don't second guess the skipper. If he tells me to put tomato catsup on my ice cream, then man, you know that's my favorite. I always cover mine with pickle relish. As I came down to ground level, I got a good look at the main fissure. I saw no evidence of volcanic eruption. No magma or lava, no ash, no superheated steam. In fact, nothing about this island appears normal. It's almost as if... Captain. Go ahead. We have a strong showing of pitch blend, almost a constant reading. Ah, uranium. Uranium? 
That explains the radioactivity you picked up, Captain. Uranium is... It's not the same, Scotty. Well, why ain't it? The radioactivity count was much too high. It couldn't have come from crude ore. From what, then? Atomic bombs, maybe? Or fallout, or... My instruments aren't picking up a thing. Maybe I'm too high. I'm going to let down closer to the deck. Still not picking up fresh readings. That pretty well proves the radiation came from that fire mountain. Wait, I'm getting a new count. There. My dial peaked almost as high as before. Team, when we'll get you five, this island is man-made. These readings smack of atomic bomb fallout. Ah, uh, yes. You are so right, my inquisitive friend. But who in the free world would ever believe such a wild tale from a dead man? <laughs> Our nosy aviator Flynn will soon discover this ship. When he does, he will present you with a perfect target. Shoot him down. Destroy him! We've got the end of the island in sight. I'm going to swing around and come back close to the smoke for another count. No need. Hold it. I see something. Skipper. There's a ship down there. She has the general lines of a freighter, but she's special purpose. Sign of registry. They've got a pontoon bridge running to shore. I'm hit. Engine gone. No control. I'm jammed in. 